today's podcast, we're going to look at the body's response to stress. Firstly, let's think about the brain bits you need to know about. The cortex is the outside crinkly layer of your brain, and that will perceive the threat from information outside you. It will then send instructional signals down through the thalamus to the very important double act of the hypothalamus and the pituitary. Together, they control all the chemical activity in your body. Now, outside the brain, we need to think of the adrenal glands. You have a pair of these sitting on top of your kidneys. Now let's divide the diagram into two to represent the two different ways in which your body responds to stress. On the left we'll have the acute response and on the right the chronic response. The acute response represents our immediate response to danger and we can characterise that as the fight or flight response. The reason it can be immediate is because we have a direct nerve link from the hypothalamus into the adrenal gland to the medulla and this is electrical, it's a neural link therefore it's very very fast, it's like our body's own broadband high speed link. It's part of the sympathetic nervous system so we don't have to think about it, we don't have to plan it. It's very fast. And as we said, the adrenal medulla will then release those hormones like adrenaline and noradrenaline that allow us to release energy for immediate action. This response is sometimes called the SAM response, the sympathetic adrenal medulla, because of the sympathetic nerve connection to the adrenal medulla. So that's the acute response or the SAM response. Now let's consider the chronic side. This is a little bit more complicated and involves a chain of chemical reactions. So this side is hormonal. Now that means, although it may be longer lasting, it takes longer to get going. We can't rely on this or any kind of fight or flight response. It's much slower than the acute response. Let's look a little bit more in detail. The hypothalamus produces a chemical. That's corticotropin releasing factor or CRF. That is picked up by the pituitary gland, which in turn produces another hormone, adrenocorticotropic hormone. Now that will pass around our blood system until it gets to the adrenal cortex, the outside, and the adrenal cortex produces cortisol, 